Hey guys, welcome to the 2016 Apple Creek Home and Garden Show. My name is Nevin, I'm with Discount Grill. We're a proud sponsor of this show, and uh, we've been doing cooking demos of all sorts here the last uh, yesterday and all day today. Uh, of course, most of our demos we're featuring on the actual Discount, which is a product that we manufacture. A little bit of history on it is basically based around the idea of using an old plow disc. We took it to another level, incorporated a burner, and then we build it however you want to design it. So what that means is whether you want a gecko here and a chili here or four uh, potteries or whatever you could dream up as a design, we'll make it however you want. We also customize it, so if you wanted your name put in the handles and the base plate on the bottom, if you want your names or logos or anniversary dates or whatever, basically wherever you want to build, we build it for you. So that's, that's basically in a nutshell what the disc it is. Uh, today's demo will be you know, showing uh, Mike Fice or Private Cube. If you'd like to go to our website, you can uh, see several hundred videos featuring Mike Fice and several other different products um, along with the disc. So we'll show you how to do everything from uh, Black and Alligator to Cherry's Jubilee to a pork chop with a red wine, peach mango, preserve sauce, and a side of asparagus. Basically, there's nothing you cannot cook on a disket. Um, so that's kind of why we do all that stuff. We love showcasing other products, especially local. Um, and we'll get into fry barbecue here in a minute. Um, Discuit, we're also a manufacturer of any kind of cooking product. So we offer a line of vertical smokers. That's a wood smoker. Um, here to my left is one kind of auto machine. We built it for New York Life. And basically they just gave us kind of a blank canvas and said, look, we want to entertain. Uh, here's the size of a trailer to fill it up. So we've got an inverter grill in the back, a wood smoker, a lot of storage cabinets, uh, ice chest, uh, running water, stainless steel prep tables, side tables, um, two-side on biscuits. So basically, you know, when you do anything like that. Behind me is what we call Air Force One. Covering up the name. It's a Jeff fuselage that uh, we uh, we actually made and converted into a uh, kind of our signature catering. We'll do catering and do different shows like this. Uh, inside's got leather seats. It's got air conditioning. We're still going to put a beer tank in there one of these days. Of course, then we can't cook much. We have too much beer. <laughs> the back end of it, you'll see the hatch open. It's actually it's got two uh, smokers on the back. It's got two discs on the sides and then uh, a gas grill on the back too. So if you guys would like to check out any of the equipment after the demo, feel free to you know uh, walk around and check it out. Um, but back into that, we're going to go ahead and demo. On the disc it, we brought in our guest chef, Mr. Mike Price and Frank. Welcome, thank you much. Thank you for being here. Awesome, awesome. Hi, yeah, we're, we're going to do today, we're going to do, we're going to do my new infusion sauce that I, I made last year at 3 o'clock in the morning. I needed something to work for the Harikou show, so that's why I came up with it, sampled it, jarred it, and now I'm selling it. And I figured out how to break it down to show everybody what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush some bacon, brown sugar, pineapples, and my new infusion sauce, reduce it down, and let it caramelize a little bit, thicken it up, and then I'm going to put a, put in a dry over some ice cream. So to let you know that, yes, you can do barbecue, and this at the same time, it won't be too off of everything. So what we're doing is putting on bacon on here. Any bacon you want to do. I heard somebody. You got no bacon there? No. <laughs> <laughs> that jokes, I like that. <laughs> Let me see that. That's a lot of bacon. You're gonna add more? This is on this side. <laughs> <laughs> this is on this side. Nobody likes bacon. <laughs> uh, I think he's trying to break a Guinness World Record how much bacon we can cook at one time. Little trick on the bacon. Um, there's a lot of different places sell good bacon. Bacon's gotten so expensive over the years. Uh, we've actually found this bacon at Shamrock Foods. It says bacon ends in pieces, which you end up when you're thinking. Sometimes it is, but a lot of times, more than not, you'll actually find full bacon strips. Did you see the, see the box? You see the size of box he had? That's like four or five bucks. Five bucks, shut them off. And you go to Smith's office and you get a 12 ounce. You're not even pound slabs of bacon in there. They're 12 ounce packages of bacon for $2.99 if you're lucky. So I think this is a five pound box. 
Um, we go through a lot of bacon at shows, so a lot of times we'll even just throw bacon on there just to get some smell coming to our booth. And so finding a deal like what do you put? I'm putting my seasoning on just for a kick. Just throw <laughs> every time. Just that's what I'm trying to do. Just help get that flavor going. Uh, Fry BQ has uh, several different lines of products. He's a seven-time Scoby Award winner. 11. Um, 11? 11. Where did you get 11? Like this year I got four more. Did you really? Yeah. I didn't know that. That is seven times. Yeah, I used to be. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar what a Scoby Award is, basically uh, throughout the nation there's several different uh, groups that, that uh, recognize and actually grade and vote for different products. Um, Scoby Award is actually put on by Dave DeWitt of the Fire Food Show. Um, so he's got 11 awards. I didn't realize that. I thought it was, thought it was only seven. But um, barbecue has his, his seasonings, his hot sauce. We got the uh, barbecue sauce, which uh, honey chipotle, traditional. The original honey chipotle hot. I have a hot sauce that's barbecue flavored versus vinegar flavored. And then I have a seasoning that's all purpose seasoning, sweet. I salt it. I split seasoning. Go ahead. Oh, thank you. <laughs> hey, I, we, we don't know. We just get a phone call. You won. And I'm like, what? I win. So, oh, thank you very much, though. Um, FiberQ products can be found at uh, on Etsy.com at FiberQSauce.com. Then I have that Mike's jerky. Then I have that Patty and Herb. Patty and Herb. Then I had a Mountain Smoke Shop. Then the UPS store on 4th Street. And then the Ace Hardware on uh, Sale and Golf Course on the West Side. And then the 8th Hardware. And then there's UPS store. I have it there too. But uh, like, like, get a hold of me. I'm on Facebook, Instagram. You can always get a hold of me one way or another. And uh, just what we do is just. Uh, Sell it to you, fair price. Make it, whatever you make your, your season and your, your meat is enhanced. <laughs> We're also opening up a brand new showroom for Discount. We're uh, relocated to uh, 2317 Edith. With our new showroom will actually be carrying a lot of these rubs and sauces. So we'll carry Mike's entire line of barbecue products. So whether you want his barbecue sauces or rubs or hot sauce, infusion sauce. We'll have that in stock down there too. And we'll be doing bi-weekly demos probably on our, on our new showroom and stuff. So if you guys uh, can't find them somewhere else, you can always come to Biscuit and find some barbecue and get that kick to the throat every time. <laughs> so Mike's got the bacon going in his. I guess we're not going to have enough bacon at once. So I was just cooking another bacon just to have some fun and get some smell going. I didn't realize he was going to do something. Well, you did something, Mike. <laughs> So what, what else do you have besides the bacon? What are we going to talk through on this thing? What, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, I'm going to put this down, cook this real well, and then I'm going to drop some uh, brown sugar and some uh, pineapple, pineapple cube, the cube, maybe even crushed, but a lot of juice that you still got to reduce it down to. So once it, once you reduce it, it takes a while. So I started to stick the chunks out. And sometimes I'll just sit there and cut them up just to make sure you don't have distribute the chunks. So that's how I do it. This is whatever you could be your preferable. And then, and then after that, then I put some uh, infusion salt in. And then, like I said, then reduce. You know, and I get these two guys mad at me because I do take some of the, the grease out, and they get mad at me. <laughs> I don't know why. I just throw a towel in there. <laughs> they just put it, put a, a towel in. I open it to the middle like that, so all the all the all the grease and all the meat sits on the outside. And then you have all your meat just straight right here. And I'll just grab a towel, hold it up, and let it soak. You soak it up, and then I'll throw it in the little box. So if you put it in the bag, it's going to burn in the bag into your, your trash can. So I try to do it that way. So. Does the bacon smell good? Thank you to get anybody up. Whatever your flavor is, if you want to do, if you want to do, like I like vanilla bean, you know, go do that, you want to do chocolate, you know, metropolitan, whatever you want to do. 
it's up to you. It's just your friend, do whatever your favorite is. You want all three of these open mic? Mike was talking about the, the pineapple chunks, so he's just using this uh, little pineapple one. He this. We have a 50 pounds of bacon on it. Yeah. Yeah, we should have large. I just, it's just, because I, I just, uh, just, just because I, I don't know. I don't know how to cook small yet. <laughs> so, so we usually cook a lot of people, but like I said, uh, eating, you can know, eat up. Up to plus 25 people easy. Just what you put on, how you want to do it. My my first season. Uh, my season. I say season, but it sounds like it's salty. Like I said, it's not salty at all. Just uh, very flavorful. It didn't, I don't like wasting the juice, so I have something else to put. Yeah, I like you. Sarah, you don't share? <laughs> you don't even share. <laughs> Bacon's always a trick for me sometimes because it looks like it's right about there and you can turn away for one second, all of a sudden it's overdone. It's like, <laughs> See how that soaks up a lot of that. Oops, so does my pants. <laughs> Got a plate? Try putting sugar on it. Pretty good. Put one more. Put it on a sample. <laughs> it does. Uh, it's probably real low. When Mike Fry, Mike uh, showed us this the first time we were at the uh, Chocolate and Coffee Festival here at the Luhan Building Co last year, I guess. I'm thinking bacon, pineapples, ice cream, really? It worked. That's a lot of bacon grease. Well, 15 pounds of bacon, put a lot of bacon grease in there. <laughs>
Cup of brown sugar. About a pound and a half. You gotta be real careful with sugars, because they can burn real fast. Stir this, we're gonna hand this around, you guys wanna pass it through, you can see the infusion pump he's gonna be using. That hit the market about a year ago, right? Yeah. So now he's adding the infusion. I think there's one. I'm gonna add, I'm add, I'm add three because I have a lot. Three jars? I'm gonna add, add three because it's a lot. If it was gonna be smaller, smaller venue, I, I, I can still use, I can get away with two. One if I want to. I, excuse me. Yes, it would be two. Two of these. It's a, it's a dessert barbecue sauce. <laughs> I just put the other one. This is the bacon, pineapple, my microphone cable, some brown sugar. <laughs> And it's got three jars of the infusion. Oh, picture? Can I photo bomb it? <laughs> I'll break your camera. Back and round. Kevin. Ice cream passes too. It's safe. One for both of us. Yeah, chocolate syrup with the, with the barbecue barbecue flavor. So they barbecue on ice cream? It's horrible. I guarantee it. That's mean, isn't it? Make sure it's not bad. See, that's the finished product. It's pumpkin fusion dessert. So it's got the bacon, the pineapples, the fried Q, uh seasoning, and then it's got the pineapples in there, served with ice cream and whipped cream. I know this. I'm so mean. We have to try and make sure it does taste as good as it looks. <laughs> 